Dr. Megan here. So I'm continuing a series on um, the most important factors uh, to build muscle. The three most important factors that you need in order to build muscle. Make sure you watch the other videos because I'm going to skip a lot of the details, right? Watch the video on protein synthesis where I explain the visual process for my visual learners out there. Love you guys. Uh, the struggle is real. And make sure you watch the one where I also explain exactly how everything works. So quick recap. Remember, if you want to build muscle, you gotta understand. You just gotta understand how muscle is built. You don't understand how muscle is built, you're gonna get confused. You're gonna keep looking through articles day and night, and you're gonna see so many contradicting studies that you're just gonna fucking your head is gonna explode. So just know how muscle is built. All right. Quick recap on the previous videos: muscle is built from protein. I mean, muscle is made out of proteins, right? Proteins are made out of amino acids, right? Which are those things that you see here, right? Uh, you know, different amino acids, uh, and those amino acids put together. In these bonds, right, forming these, you know, this kind of structure. Obviously, it's a lot longer than that. Uh, stack together, and then you have protein, right? So you take amino acids, you put them together in a specific order, and you keep stacking them together. You're gonna have bigger proteins, you know, and then you're gonna have bigger contractile elements, which is a bigger muscle, right? At least a bigger muscle, right? It's that fucking simple, right? So that's what the other video explained. Make sure you check it out. I remember I explained that you gotta take the amino acids, right? Lysine, leucine, you know, uh, arginine phenylalanine, tyrosine, all that shit. You got to take all the amino acids, you got to put them in a specific order, a specific order in order to form the protein that you want, right? Because your eyes are made of protein, your hair is made of protein. So, you know, you need a specific sequence. And where do you get that code? Your DNA, right? The other video explains that. Your DNA is the source of that information. And you stimulate your DNA via the growth factors, right? Hormones, testosterone, you know, things like that. The enzymes that help with translation, like mTOR, you know, myostatin, blah, 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 blah. That, that myostatin inhibits mTOR, all that good shit, right? So the growth factors, I put everything. No, normally when you hear the term growth factors, people refer to hormones, but I, I'm throwing everything in there, like, you know, I'm, I'm including the enzymes and the genes. So the question was, which of the three, and obviously the energy, right? The energy that you need to finance the whole operation. And the question was, which of the three is the most important, right? Because if you, if you have the, obviously you need everything, right? If you have the amino acids and you have the code on how to put them together, but you don't have the money to finance the operation, which is the energy, enough calories, then nothing is going to get built. And if you have the energy and then you have the instructions, but you don't have the bricks, nothing's going to get built. Okay. So you need all three, but what is the most important because as lifters we getting enough of some of those three things right but we're missing on one that's what this video is about we're getting enough amino acids okay we, most people are getting enough protein you're getting enough chicken fish beans if you're vegan whatever we're getting enough calories I'm, I'm assuming you're getting enough calories i mean that's like basic basic bodybuilding 101 so why is it that a lot of us are not growing the way that we want to grow it all comes down to the growth factors Right? That is the most important. That is the most important of the three factors. Why? Because you can have a person that has a high protein diet, a high calorie diet, and still doesn't put on muscle if his growth factors are not activated. Okay? But yet, it's impossible to have the other way around. Right? You're not going to have a person that has highly active growth factors and is not putting on muscle because your body is going to get, it's going to become more efficient at using the little protein that you eat and the little energy that you have. Okay? And a perfect example as to why growth factor is the most important is just look at, you know, runners and marathon runners. Right? Look at sprinters and look at marathon runners, right? We make that analogy a lot of times. The sprinter has more muscle than the marathon runner. Yet, if you put them on the same diet, keep the training the same, right? But put them on the same diet, same amount of protein, same amount of calories, who's going to be bigger? It's going to be the sprinter. Why? Because sprinting is a lot more anabolic than, you know, endurance training, which is actually catabolic and breaks down muscle because you know ampk actually blunts mtor but that's for a whole different video all right so that's an example where people can have the same amount of amino acids same amount of energy but one person is obviously going to put on more size because the activity that he's doing stimulates the growth factors more all right look at somebody who's natural and somebody who's on steroids you can put them on the same diet meaning same amount of calories same amount of protein right but the person on steroids is going to grow more why because this factor you know Testosterone, growth factors, right? It's, it leads to an insane response in muscle building and protein synthesis. Okay? But yet, that's the funny thing is somebody who's on steroids puts on more muscle, even if he doesn't train, than somebody who's natty and goes to the gym. That's a fact. Studies have shown this. I made videos about that. 
right? Once again, showing you the power of growth factor, right? Let's look at a man and a woman. They could have the same amount of protein in the diet, same amount of energy, right? Enough to meet their needs. But why is it that the guy grows more than the woman? He has more growth factors. We have more testosterone, you know, along with a bunch of other things, okay? And what happens when women put on, you know, steroids and increase their, their, their testosterone levels and things like that? Beyond the psychological, the, the, the physiological range, they put on more muscle than guys. They're natty guys, of course. Right, so it's all about growth factors. You could increase your protein all you want, your energy all you want. This is the factor that really decides how big you're gonna get. Right? Look at a boy that that goes to puberty. Right? You could increase. You could, you could give a ten year old all the protein in the world, all the energy in the world. He's not gonna get the physiological change that you get through puberty. But yet you let him naturally go through puberty. What happens? He puts on muscle. Your your muscle size increases when you go to puberty without lifting a single weight. Why? Because what happens as you go to puberty? Your growth factors increase. Okay, look at the people that are mild stand efficient, or the cows that are mild stand efficient. You know, you could feed them all the amino. You could you, you could take two cows. One is mild stand efficient. One is a normal cow. You could you could take the normal cow and triple its protein, triple its energy. It will not build as much muscle as the as the cow that simply has less mild stand. Once again, this factor. Yes, all those three things are important, but growth factors are everything. When it comes to building size, okay, very fucking important. Now the question remains. All right, let's conclude this video because it's too long now. The question remains. Well, Megan, how do I increase my growth factors? Well, when you go into the gym, you you stimulating your growth factors. That's why we train. When you train, when you lifting that bar, you're not increasing your protein. You know, via the act. Yeah, you 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 breaking down more protein than your body can use to resynthesize. But really, the the you know you're not you're not eating while you fucking benching. So your protein not going up your energy is not going up anything is going down why do we go to the gym then we go to the gym because training is anabolic it activates a lot of the genes responsible for growth okay so the question is how do i keep growing well you need to manage this manage this everyone is good at managing their protein everyone is good at managing their calories manage your growth factors through what are you lifting heavy check most people are lifting heavy are you lifting with enough volume check most people are lifting with enough volume you want to know what's missing frequency that's why all my fucking videos emphasize frequency right in the videos on nucleus overload on training every day on on you know like uh, prioritizing the muscle by hitting it more frequently it all boils down to frequency because you gotta understand a lot of the hormones that lead to an anabolic state they have a very short half-life if you've been training for a long time okay when you're a noob yeah you lift the weight man the rna for the the muscle building genes that shit is up for weeks I think it peaks at like two weeks or some shit. Um, but when you're a noob, yeah, you, you're going you're gonna to just work out once or twice a week and just go like a motherfucker. But the more advanced you are, the more frequent you have to train. I've been preaching this since 2011, guys. You need to increase your frequency, right? A lot, for example, mechanical growth factor. You know, everybody knows mechanical growth factor, right? Growth hormone activates IGF-1. IGF-1 has a splice called mechanical growth factor, and it's very, very, very highly correlated with growth. Well, guess what? It has like a it has a half life for like what I think twenty four hours. If you advance, it's probably even shorter. So increase your frequency, guys, so that you can manage this side of the equation, leading to bigger and um, quicker gains. That's why I grew so fast. Everyone's seen it. That's why I grew so fast when I got on full body workouts. I went I went from training the same muscle once or twice a week to three times a week, along with the other benefits of full body workout, where you also have more recovery. Things like that. And I'm not saying you have to do full body workouts. Don't get me wrong. You could grow on splits. You could grow on whatever you want. But find any way you can to increase your frequency. And you will stimulate the growth factors more and more and more. All right, guys? Hope this helps. Obviously, there's other ways to manage your growth factors. I, I mentioned mTOR, taking breaks from the gym and all that stuff. But the point of the video remains the same. Optimize this thing here. All right, guys? Team to the Alpha. Hope this video helped. Comment below if I missed some things. If you want me to clarify things, comment below. I'm going to answer in the comment section or make another video. And um, thanks for liking. Thanks for supporting the channel. Love you guys. Dominance, discipline, direction. Other segments. So go in the comment section and just vote. Vote on what you think is your most requested uh, topic. And then obviously the one that has the most likes are the ones that are going to put in case let's